Okay, maybe you're like me. Maybe you've got that old laptop, PC sitting in the closet, and you're thinking, what am I going to do with it? Can I breathe new life into the device? And how do I do that? Well, one of the options you might want to explore is installing Linux on that device. Linux can be found on the internet often at no cost. Additionally, some of those Linux operating systems can be run through a thumb drive so you get to try it before you actually make an installation to your hard drive. And in this video, we are going to do that. We are going to download a Linux OS. We're going to create a thumb drive. We will boot to that thumb drive and try it out. The Linux system we're going to use goes by the name of Zorin. The process we're going to describe here will require downloading from the internet. So if you're not comfortable with that, you might want to pass. First, before you take this any further, go visit the Zorn website. Up here is the address. The Zorn website does a very good job of explaining the benefits of Zorn. Zorin OS Lite might be what you need for those really old devices. Here's a little bit on being reliable and secure. Privacy. Here's a little bit about the gaming. I personally haven't really used a Linux device for gaming. I usually use it for web browsing and email. You might appreciate this. If you decide to install Zorn to your hard drive, there is an option during the installation process where you can set it up to dual boot between Windows and Zorin. It says you can dual boot with Mac OS, but myself, I haven't done that. So when you're ready, click here and let's start exploring the download process. First up is the Zorin Pro 16.2. Zorin Pro is a need to purchase release. Next is the core release which we are going to download in this video. For older PCs, there are two light versions available. Click download free. If you're interested, you could also subscribe or skip and download. We'll speed up the download for this video. Now click on this link to explore how to install Zorin. Read through this page a couple of times just so you're comfortable with the process. You will need to create a bootable drive. So the web page recommends Belina Etcher. It is a free and open source utility used for writing image files. Download the version that fits your needs. Install Belina Etcher. Before you install, be sure you read the license agreement. Now to flash the thumb drive. Insert your USB thumb drive into the port. Click flash from file. Select the Zorn file that you downloaded. Select the correct thumb drive that you want to copy the Zorn files to and click on Flash. Mm -hmm. 
For the video, we will speed this up. And now you have a thumb drive ready to go. Eject the thumb drive properly. Okay, the next step is you're going to boot to the Zorn drive. Okay, booting to your thumb drive is not a universal process, so you'll need to research your manufacturer's instructions. Sometimes it's just a matter of hitting a certain key during startup. But once you get there and you do boot to that thumb drive, you're almost finished. Okay, we see the Zorn logo. We're getting somewhere. And here we are. The last step for Zorn. Here you get to decide. You can try Zorn, which means you're running it from the USB drive, or you can install Zorn OS to your hard drive. Still, just to be safe, if you choose to install it to your hard drive, first, back up your critical files, and be sure you've already created a recovery drive from your Windows operating system. And here in this menu, you see where you can connect to your Wi-Fi if you choose to do so. Let's just spend a few moments just to see some of the apps that come with this release of Zorin. So that will conclude this video. I hope this was a benefit to you. If you're interested in another operating system, you might want to give Zorn a try. And as always, thank you for watching.